So this is the 3.5 motor, and these are a little bit different than the 2.7s. So in this one right here, first thing we want to do is go ahead and pull the clip out. So let's go ahead and get that clip out. All right, once that clip's out of the way, then you just push down and wiggle that out. Once that's out of the way, you got one 10 millimeter bolt right here. And now the bad thing about these is you do have to take and lift up the intake just a tad. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I've already tried to see if you can squeeze one through. You can't. You can do more damage than anything, so it's just, just go ahead and take it off kind of thing. All right. Next up, you're going to have to take off the brackets right here. Let me show you. Yeah, this bracket right here, all you got to do is loosen this bolt right here. And you have this bracket right here, and you just loosen this one. Otherwise, all we're going to do is take out the 10 millimeter bolts in the center, lift up just a hair. So let me, uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh, bracket, the hold down brackets off, then we're going to get the intake loose. Let me go ahead and get the, those broke free. Now pretty much on these brackets right here, all you want to do is just take the bottom bolt out. That way, because all you're going to be doing is lifting up just a hair. So once you get that free, let's go ahead and get to the other side. Just something get it out of the way. Then we're going to clear the coach and uh, get this thing done. All right, from here we're going to go ahead and loosen the bolts up. Once you get those free, all you can do, you can see you better lift it just a hair. You got one more bracket right here. Now I do have to tell you, there are two brackets right here on the back. All you're going to do is just loosen them. They're 13 millimeter bolts. Once you remove those, you can lift this up just enough to give you the room you need to actually squeeze the uh, center out. So, since I'm by myself, I'll take something like this, lift up, pull out, slide out the sensor. Let me show you. Now, what I do is I lift up just like this and I start wiggling the sensor through and out she'll come. Just like that. That's your camshaft sensor right there. Um, this one looks like it got a little bit of wear in it. So we're going to go ahead and put the new one in while I've got this up and we're going to get it bolted back down. See they also talk about the old, they also talk about the old paper which is that right there. And here's the new one right here. So all you're gonna do is tilt it sideways, lift it up like this, and in the hole you go, right back into place, let the intake back down, and uh, let's get it bolted up. And we pretty much got this thing bolted back up, so we're gonna go ahead and finish tightening it down and get the plug back plugged in. All right, time for the plug. Plug the plug in there. Once that snaps into place, go ahead and put the uh, keeper back in it. Now if your keeper don't go back in, you have to slide the plug back down just a tad until it goes into place. That way you know you're exactly where it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and get the intake re-bolted back down and uh, get this buttoned up. Yeah, I'm going to knock out the last couple bracket bolts. And then we're going to go ahead and clear the codes and get this thing fired up.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and get in the car. We're gonna go ahead and clear the codes and get this thing fired up. So we cleared the codes on there and we went in and started up, running great. So for your part numbers right here, the BWD is the CSS 650. So I hope that helps you guys. I'll catch you on the next one with our 59 videos out.